Hey there, and welcome to another Dave Does video, and this is Dave Does Driving. Um, so this is the first video that I've decided to do about driving, just for the sake of I drive a lot, and uh, I like to show some of my favourite driving routes, and also to talk about some of the practicalities of uh, when you're doing your tests, versus, uh, I guess, some of the bad habits, but also some of the realistic habits that you might pick up whilst driving. So the, the road we're driving down today is a road lane called Cock Lane in Hertfordshire. It's in a town called Hoddesdon, uh, on the outskirts of Hoddesdon going into Broxbourne. Currently we're in a 30 mile an hour speed limit area, um, so we've got to just drive nice and safe down here. Uh, and then Cock Lane basically will lead into Pembridge Lane and then um, will eventually get us into a White Stubbs Lane, which is the route we're going to go today. These are really nice driving roads, they're national speed limit roads, so up to 60. Uh, country, windy, twisty roads. I picked a bank holiday Monday, uh, it's about half past eight in the morning, so I'm hoping a lot of people will be off the road. Uh, we're just leaving the town sort of areas now. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about driving wise is uh, the driving hand positions, so they talk about it being here in your tests and your license and that is very true you should however you will find naturally you will find a natural position for your arms as you start to learn to drive in your own car uh, a lot of people like this position where you have your arm on the windowsill that gives you no control because you can't get your arm down if you need to turn so you lack of control me personally I like the top of the wheel uh, now this is not the safest in the sense of if you hit a pothole or something like that you are gonna go Got no real control but what you do have is a lot of turning circle in one arm there's no one behind me as you can see in the camera so uh that's why now we're going to national speed limits now i would say yes you can go up to 60 miles an hour here 40 is generally okay in these sort of roads uh especially as these are blind turns i know this route very well so i know all the sort of the the little turns and stuff that are coming along but i tend to drive around 40 on this section of road and go up to 50 a little bit further along you will get people in vans and stuff that will come charging along here at 50 60 miles an hour uh, my tip here is don't let it put pressure you into uh, speeding up go the speed that you're comfortable with um, normally I will sit here the worst part is when I'm driving the van and I've got a lot I'm trying to get somewhere uh, and I know these roads well, so I'll be trying to get down here at 50, and of course I'll get someone who is driving 30, and it'll be frustrating, but you have to drive for what you feel is safe on these sort of roads. Now these roads pinch up quite a bit at points, so you have to be careful, there are a few big potholes at the side of the road. Again, I'm sitting here, now this is a comfort driving position for me, so I've got my hand on the gear, I don't, I don't grip it, I'm just resting it on the top ready for a gear change um, from a rev point of view this is good from a fuel economy point of view so your gear number should always be one higher than the speed that you're aiming for that's my kind of guide rule so for instance if I want to drive 20 miles an hour I will be in third if I want to drive 40 like now if I switch into fourth gear at 40 what I'm gonna do is you'll see the revs are about one and a half that's not going to give me a huge amount of acceleration but if I need acceleration suddenly uh, what I can do is I can then drop it into uh, a lower gear just to get that acceleration but what I am going to be finding is by sitting in these higher rev or so lower revs not higher revs in the lower revs in the high in the higher speed I'm going to get much better fuel economy overall so again I'm creeping above 30 here I'm in third I should be in fourth this will then get me my revs right down if I go into fifth whilst doing 30 I'd have real problems we've had a lot of rain down here so we've got a bit of flooding in the woodland areas it's a beautiful area this in the spring uh, and also in the autumn when we get in uh, the the leaves growing so I'm gonna go down this little side one here this is one of my favorite roads I go when I go to uh, one of my clients uh, so this is Pembridge Lane don't get a lot of traffic here, it's usually cut through traffic for people trying to get to an area called Bayford. But you've got these lovely country winding lanes. A bit bumpy, but I can handle that. This is, I'm in a Jeep. Uh, we're actually at the back of an area called Paradise Park. So this is a nice little cut through if you're trying to get to, uh, say, something like Potter's Bar or somewhere like that. Uh, but I'm going to take you on this kind of route round today. Um, 
and then probably bring us back round to like the Hertfordshire way. But again, this is a 50 mile, six, sorry, 60 mile an hour road, but look here, we've got a blind turn coming up. So you really want to slow down, get yourself into something where you know you can stop. Too many people sit there and think because they've got uh, a 60 mile an hour, uh, they should go it. Don't have to. I do say on motorways, you really should do your speed limits on motorways and even A roads, because those sort of roads you definitely need to. Your, your likelihood of having significant ha hazards is not going to be there. But again, I've got this lovely comfortable position. Now the only problem with this position with you having your hand up here, you've got plenty of turn, which is good, and then I drop, bring my hand up for the rest of the turn to help move it forward. But if I hit a pothole, I have no real control of the wheel. That's why they say you should drive like this. Now the only thing with this is if I'm doing it, I'm gonna to have to keep doing this kind of threading, threading through the hands, which I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, car coming in the opposite direction. So this is quite tight roads. Just need to get right over. There we go. Gear locked up a little bit there. I have to say the brakes on the, the Jeep are good, but they love to lock up. Even the slightest, they just only grind up on the, uh, there's no sort of steady, slow decline, it's just like locking up gears. Lovely walking area here in the Broxbourne Woods to the right. People take a lot of dog walking, probably dogging though, them lot. But yeah, there's a lot of dog walking over there, but uh, right, I'm gonna go past one of my client's houses, get onto White Stubbs Lane. Now once I get onto White Stubbs Lane, I'll be able to open up a little bit more. The roads are uh, less back streets, and it's still a main road, it's still twisty, it's still tw uh, turny kind of streets. But if you're, if you're a driver that likes to actually drive rather than just using the vehicle to get places, you want to see what the turns are like, you want to, you want to feel the journey, uh, White Stubbs Lane is a good lane to do, but you don't want to do it in rush hour, you'll just sit behind traffic you're not really gonna get an experience of it. Uh, it's also really popular with uh, cyclists. So you will spend a lot of time uh, behind traffic. Now this one here, I've got no scene to my left and a, and a dip in the road on the right. So real tricky one I'm getting out of. I normally continue down uh, the first road I was on, Cock Lane, which comes out a little bit further back behind me. Uh, onto that one, so I'd only really use that if I was going to that client's house back that I've just passed. Now we can open it up here, so this is a 60 mile an hour road. I like to sit about 50, which is why I'm actually in my maximum, I'm in fifth gear. Now if I'm actually accelerating up to like motorway speeds, I actually do the opposite rule, which is one lower. So to get to 30, I'll actually stay in second. To get to 40, I'll stay in third, just so that I get the revs high enough to get gear changes. But if you're cruising and you want to um, save petrol, you go the opposite. So I'm sitting here doing just under 50 at the moment. I'm in fifth gear, which is the maximum gear for this Jeep, which is why I've got no real acceleration right now. If I actually wanted to accelerate it properly, I'd have to drop it down to fourth, get the acceleration back up to about 60, and then punch it into fifth gear when I hit about 60, 65 to get the acceleration up to 70. Uh, one thing I hate about this particular road though is because of wind and rain damage you do get low hanging branches that get damaged by the trees uh, and I've lost two windscreens last year I had to have them replaced due to coming around corners and branches being there. Hazard coming up, we've got water hazard. Now uh, it's worth slowing down a little bit because especially as there's a blind bit of turn here, drifting too far out and a car coming the opposite direction could cause me a massive problem. This isn't flooded, that's quite good. Normally this is quite bad. Potholes. There's a bit of a pothole in that section. The other thing I have to watch out here is for the cameras because we're quite close. However, if they hit the cameras, they're gonna take the wing mirror as well. So I should be okay. Doing about 55 at the moment, I'm in fourth, gonna drop it back into fifth, back to cruising, but I needed that getting out of that little hill area. Lots of little divots here at the side of the road. 
which are which are cool. Uh, gives you a little bit of character to your ride, but one problem you do have is you've got to watch out. You don't really know how deep they are because of the rain. Uh, you don't want to swerve. And like here we go. Here's our first of our cyclists today. This was probably someone going to work. Indicate round, give them plenty of space. Uh, horses on the trails. That's another thing you get down these roads. So. Obviously when you're doing a horse you want to sit down as slow as you can, probably sit in second rather than first because your engine won't uh, rev as high, so that's one thing, uh, you don't want to rev your engine too high next to the horses. Another reason why I didn't put the cameras on the left hand side of the car is because of the amount of spray I'd be getting back would get soaking those cameras and also uh, the potential risk of smashing them into trees. Okay, so we're going to go this way today. This is going to take us down uh, past Epping Green. It's really weird because we're nowhere near Epping Forest, but we're called Epping. And we're nowhere actually near Epping, Epping at all. It's an unusual one. Epping Green is nowhere near Epping. 